Hey everybody, this is Rathus and welcome to Astra Exodus, a 4X game that will actually be released in a little under a week that has a few features that I am actually quite intrigued by. The first one being a campaign, as you can see here, that is a single player story driven experience, which I really like story driven experiences. And also the combat in this game can take place both in space and on ground. And I like that idea as well. Now, for those of you who don't want a story driven campaign experience, you can get your traditional 4X space gaming experience by going to the sandbox and then you can set up a galaxy, select one of, I think, eight factions and go to war. But for now, we're going to we're going to focus on the campaign. And the campaign is actually pretty cool, too, in my opinion, because the campaign revolves entirely around a Battlestar Galactica style thing where we're trying to find Earth. They came out of the darkness to the light of our progress, unstoppable and relentless. They crashed against our bravery. Then, only thanks to the Keepers, the exodus began, and through the Great Eye, we found salvation from the Dark Ones. Also, I want to add right here, before I continue reading the opening to the story, they are still doing minor tweaks and stuff to the game before release. Like, there's supposed to be voice acting in the game. I don't believe there is any at this point in time with this build. And there are going to be a few typos here and there, but just know they're working on it before the game comes out. However, the curse followed us as strife, conflict, and fratricide plagued our ancestors among the cold void. Then, in the blink of an eye, our brothers were lost to the stars, somewhere between the Great Eye and Final Salvation. So, Great Eye is probably a wormhole. In the end, as our hope was almost extinguished, Final Salvation was found, when we set foot on what we now call Terra. Such is the tale of the exodus, of the burning of our home, the tragedy of our brothers, and the rebirth of our people. Leopold Garibaldi, first president of the Terran Republic, extract from Terra's Exodus Legacy Archives. Hmm. So basically, we found a new planet. This is how I'm taking this. I don't know the story uh, details beyond what it's already given us. And the fact that we escaped from Earth. I'm assuming then that Terra and Earth are two separate planets. Earth is what we're trying to find. Terra is where we settled after we ran away from Earth. Cool. At ease, Commander, I am Grand Admiral Marissa Garibaldi, related to the president, apparently, or future president, I don't know, or prior president. I don't really know the dates in this. <laughs> uh, responsible with High Command of the Terran Republic Navy. I am told your qualifications are more than enough to know that already, but you're just out of boot camp experience, despite what any simulator says. Doesn't really sell me on the idea of the job I am expected to give you. So excuse me if I don't break out the champagne for you just yet, but such are the delights of working under a chain of command. I mean, sure. Why we got Starlink corruption? Oh good, you're already here, Commander. Grand Admiral, a pleasure like always, really. I wouldn't say that. Well, let's just cut to the chase then. You've been chosen to lead a new, let's just say, enterprise, haha, of my design, Commander. <laughs> As you all know, I was elected on the promise to shed light on our lost legacy of our exodus from the legendary Earth and all that entails. So yeah, they're using Earth and Terra distinctly. To that end, I am effectively creating, by presidential degree, the Exodus Legacy Task Force. As a branch of the Republic Navy, the ELTF will still function under my command. However, it will do so on the expressed wishes of the president as a sort of explorers of our past. As I have fervently argued for before, understanding the tactical situation past our local galactic sector can do nothing but prepare us for any threats. That's true. So this, regardless of any historic findings, will certainly serve to the main purpose High Command desires. Yeah. I don't know why... I, I, don't, I don't really like that button there just saying skip briefing. I think it should be put somewhere else because based on like other user interfaces in other games, you would think that would be the next button. But no, it's this right here. Once again, I'm disappointed for your lack of fervor in this project, Grand Admiral. As one of the last, if not the last, Awaken on Terra. Awaken? People who remember Earth? Hmm. You should know how important it is to find out about our past, especially given the memory corruption both our biological and hardware systems suffered. Biological memory corruption? What the? Okay, I'm curious. Even so, regardless of sentiment, I know you'll do your duty, so I leave you to it. Good luck and Godspeed, Commander. Let's get this clear from the get-go, Commander. Terra is paramount, the rest is secondary. Your mission is scout for dangers, and only if safe, then and only then, you could explore history to your liking. Yeah, we got to keep Terra safe, of course. In any case, your first task is simple. Attend to Sector S12A22, 
where one of our colonies is under constant pirate harassment. Eliminate the threat and fully map the sector if possible. Do this and I might consider giving you a task of actual worth. Dismissed. All right, let's do it. I'm curious. Uh, let's not show the tutorials for now. It should not be too terribly difficult to figure out. So here's our planet. That is a really creepy face for habitability. Are we sure we're human? Because I don't think we're human. Well, let's start building something. I assume FR means frigate. What does CC mean? Constructor. TT. It's a Titan. Hmm. Boost engines and bombard. Infantry. Develop colonies industrial might to the construction of traditional housing options. Oh, that's cool. We can increase our population like that. Provides defense against colony attacks. Also, yeah, you can design your own ships. Just on a side note. Hmm. Freighter fleet allows for the transport of resources back to the homeworld in the movement of troops. Okay. Colonizer. That's a battleship cruiser. Okay. Would the Titan then be the carrier? Well, regardless, I'm going to build this thing because it seems like a scout vessel. Okay, we only have the one colony. Gotcha. I could colonize this planet, but apparently our weird alien mutant face says it's not a good planet. Part of me wants to colonize it anyway because it's here with us, but I'm not sure that's the best idea quite yet. All right, we need research. Can I get all of these or... Hyperspace communications, what does that do? Oh, allows fleet to change uh, destination while in hyperspace. That sounds real useful, actually. But I would like to learn terraforming of arid planets. Can I only pick one per category at a time? That's the question. Gauze cannon, mass driver, plasma blaster. Hmm. Where's your range? 50... 80, 50. I like long range. Thank you very much. Bunker network provides defense against colony invasions. Plus one population, stellar commerce. I feel like commerce is probably a good thing. I mean, we got to have tanks, right? Oh, negative 25%. Yeah, we're going to troop up upkeep. I like my cash. Production, plus 15% construction, negative 25% pollution. Pollution is usually a problem in these types of games, so let's check that out. Plus two sectors to scanner range, fission reactor, and a tractor beam. Eh, fission reactor. Frigates. What does this do? Plus two food. Yeah, I feel like we need to focus on increasing our resources. Explosive plates. Oh, effective versus beam. Internal bulkheads. Let's go to Sarah Metal. Ooh, we could have a fighter bay and we could actually make a carrier. The fighter bay when provided any starship with at least two fighter wings. I'll take that. I like fighter. I like fighter units. Enhanced beam weapons. What am I researching again in terms of beam weapons? That's not a beam weapon. That's it's a projectile weapon. So I don't know that we want to specialize in projectile weapons. Hmm. Oh, mast weapons. That is what that is, right? A mast driver? Yeah. Armor piercing specialist. Oh, hell yeah. We'll take that. All right, cool. Now we have some idle fleets. 
I do not want this fleet to go anywhere. Unless I can send... Diriturturibinus. <laughs> it's a weird name for a ship. Okay, I just want to send one ship out to scout. Because, yeah, this is a... Tactic, disengage, okay. And this is a... Oh, that's a colonite. Nope. You keep that thing safe. We just built another ship. Where'd he go? Yeah, I want to come out here. You. But you go check out Ionia. Not you. There we go. I accidentally was going to send the colonizer. That is not at all what I want to do. You know what? Maybe we should build some ships, too. Uh, colonies. Corvus. Am I building anything on here right now? No, I'm not. I think maybe housing would be new design. Oh, just ship design. I don't want to mess with that right now. Not necessary in the slightest. Housing construction. Okay. That's what our people are demanding. That's what our people going to get. Then maybe a star base. Cool. What did you find? Progenitor probe. Uh-oh. Let's see. We have... Assault frigate. Oh, okay. Armor 2K. I will die. <laughs> I will die very quickly. You want to retreat? No, he does not want to retreat. He wants to die. Okay, well, seeing how dangerous this area around us is, what are you? I feel like we just need to colonize this planet then. We'll go ahead and build a colonial factory. It's an exo farm. Exo farm. Xena mine. Research lab. And we're going to get all this stuff started. Cool. Because, yeah, uh, we need to build this stuff. We have zero food available. Lovely. We are off to a great start. Well, I'm exploring the planets like they said to. <laughs> Might zero. Can, can we retreat? No. We are going to die instantly. Okay, then. At least now we know all these planets are explored. <laughs> oh, boy. What's this say? Negative six. We are consuming a lot of metals. Okay. I mean, it's not much, not a whole lot I can do about that right now. We just got to let our resources build. Because we are waiting for some stuff to finish on our colonies. Like how long till this is done? Five more turns and that... Okay, yeah, it's fine. There really should be a... system to just... fast forward until the next important event. Oh. What's going on? 
After analyzing our current concepts, our experts in the field believe we should research the Enhanced Beam Weapons Project next. I... I mean, we'll do it. We have a suggestion on government pending. What do you want? We have plenty of reserves in our treasure. Do we? Oh, we do. <laughs> and expect to continue to grow in the future. It might be wise to decrease taxes to increase resource production. I can do that? Okay, cool. You won't, you won't tell me how to... Oh, taxes are right there. Oh, hey. That does help. Drop it down to 10% then. And I'm going to build some fleets. Oh, one more turn and we'll have a star base. Yeesh. Yeesh. <laughs> I may have jumped the gun on the star base. But you know what I need though? I need some ships. And I need some ships that aren't going to die instantly. What's your might? 33. Good lord, the aliens are so much stronger than I am. That's a cruiser. It's going to take me 11 turns to complete. But... I feel like it's necessary. What do you want? I don't want it next. I have other research to complete. Chill. Xenomine is built. Good. What do you want? The Jupiter has been our most successful. You mean the dead class? Oh, the Jupiter class of Titan. I mean, I would like to build a Titan, but I get I hate to break it to you, man. We broke. And not just kind of broke. We super broke. We should be able to kill this thing now. Because I do think that's our biggest problem is we need to go to another planet. We need to expand. Let's do this. I haven't seen tactical combat yet, obviously. Are you going to continue the whole time like that or what? That's our weapon range. Oh, here we go. There we go. Murder it. I mean, he's already shooting at me. I don't know how this fight's going. Okay. I'm doing a lot more damage, I think, but he's doing it more consistently. I'm sorry, ramming speed? I don't know who's winning this fight. There's no health bar. Okay, continue firing the mass drivers, please. Our health is pretty low. Yep. 
Yep, you keep trying to kill him. Where's his bloody health? Yeah, I can only see my ship's health. I mean, I know we weren't overwhelmingly powerful compared to him. We were just a little bit stronger. But I think we're going to lose this fight. We don't have strike craft. Maybe we should start turning the other way. I mean, we are legitimately hurting him, but I don't know how much health he has. Because I think we about to die. Yeah, I could not see where his health was. It's a little strange. That was really strange. Armor 2k. We had more armor and more hull. What the f We only cut his armor down. Oh. Okay. Feel like we need some more variety in our ships. Well, that's fine. That sucked, like honestly, but that was our own fault. We don't need to build either of these. I feel like <laughs> we should probably. You know what? How about you give me. Oh, you... that's going to take you forever. Never mind. Let's go with these. And a freighter for fleet. Okay. Okay, let's do a let's do a freighter fleet then. We come back down here. Yeek. That did not end well. What's the might of this thing? 190. Okay. So what I want, I'm going to build a battleship. I'm going to build a cruiser. And then maybe a handful of these dudes. Materials efficiency is not good. Well, let's just get rid of that then. All right. <laughs> let's, let's try this again. Nope. All that stuff can go away. So we built the battleship. Not battleship, cruiser, right? Yeah. There we go. We're going to try this again. <laughs> and hopefully not die this time. I really want to figure out how this works. I'm going to try one more battle. And see if our fleets can actually do this. I want to see what I'm doing wrong. Because I don't want to keep doing... I don't want to resort to... Yeah, I don't want to resort to... Auto-resolve every time. I want to figure out what we're doing wrong. Maybe it's maybe it was just a tech problem. Like they're you know, technically maybe their shields are just better than ours. Oh. Alright, we blew them to, we blew them apart that time. Okay, cool. We have figured it out. <laughs> I think it probably was a tech problem then. Baron. No. 
arid. I can, I should be able to colonize that swamp. <laughs> you get, you are shockingly happy for being, for me considering putting you on an arid planet, but you know what? That's fine then. What we need now are two colonization vessels. It's the Minerva, right? No, it's a constructor. Oh, Fortuna. Okay, well, that planet, that system has been cleared. We're going to go to that system next, I think. However, that is all the time I do have for today. So I got to say, this is an interesting game. Um, so far, I think my biggest issue with it would have to be there's not a lot of feedback when you're in combat. So you're, so like I said right there, I wasn't sure how well we were doing in the first match. I couldn't see the enemy, the enemy ship's, uh, ship's stats or anything. But I do like the style. And I'm really curious to see where the campaign goes. So we will, at the very least, do another episode of this. But if you guys are enjoying it and want to see even more, then yeah, please, by all means, let me know in the comments below. And we'll see how it goes. Thanks again for watching, guys.